ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Renee Box Young, a platform where we simply discuss, critique, and analyze, simply talk about sport of boxing and level-headed mature corner fashion subscribers since day one. Recent subscribers, I appreciate each and every one of you. Thanks so much for tuning into my Flash Lives, premieres of my videos such as this, man. Liking it up, sharing it up. You already know, man. Thank you guys so much. You know, if you're new to the platform, if you love a sport of boxing, this is the place for you. Okay, you already know what to do, man. You know, cordial invitation to subscribe and uh, hit notification bell so you know when I push, you know, content, do the flash lives and all that good stuff. I want to get right to it, man. And once more, um, as I always love to mention, you know what I'm saying, um, Cash App, those who have, you know, uh, donated donated via that manner, I thank you guys so much. You guys are all amazing, you know what I'm saying? Cash App, dollar sign, Renee Box Young, or PayPal also, you can check in the description, you know what I'm saying? Uh, all that info. Thank you guys so much, man. Now it's time to talk about Ryan Garcia and Tank, okay? Once again, as I always say, <laughs> you know, as I always say, man, um, you know, check out the check the channel. I don't really talk about them, you know what I'm saying? It's just too much drama between these two guys. Too much Twitter finger stuff between these two guys for years, plural, plural. You know, and I've been tired of it since 2018, approximately, maybe 2017. I've been tired of that, you know what I'm saying? But, you know, it looks like it's getting closer. That's what I'm saying here, you know? I'm trying to say that it's getting closer. Now, I'm not getting so caught up in this whole announcement. You know, the posters are pushing. Even Steven Espinosa, you know what I'm saying, um, is talking about it's done. It's a done deal. I'm not getting so caught up in this whole moment just yet. You know, I mean, it would be great to see that. You know what I'm saying? It would be great to see this fight, but um, I'm just not being so caught up just yet. I'm not believing the hype just yet. You know what I'm saying? I'm trying to take it, you know in a patient manner. Why? Because I think you guys know why. You know what I'm saying, ladies and gentlemen. First, we can start out with knowing how Ryan Garcia has been for the past while concerning these types of announcements, okay? I don't want to get into details in that because y'all know the story. Y'all know the story. I'm just being factual about it. I'm not saying that, you know, Ryan Garcia is a diva or this and that. You know, I don't say that about these fighters. You know what I'm saying? Any fighter in general. I'm just saying that facts are facts, okay? So we know that aspect concerning Ryan Garcia. We also know that, you know, what happened recently, what happened recently, just a quick example also, even though it's not these two guys, but you know, what happened recently with Bud and freaking, uh, and Spence, man. I mean, this, this announcement, people are going crazy. People are going crazy um, about, you know, oh, it's, it's November 19th, I told you, it's gonna be November 19th. Now, Bud and Spence, man, they're gonna, we're gonna get the fight in November 19th. And you know, even these sources out there, man, writers, you know what I'm saying? saying the same thing quite you know what i'm saying like in principle it's all agreed now and this and that and november 19th is the day you know but and then nothing happened i mean y'all know the story and that's what it is when it comes to the sport of boxing you know and this is exactly why i'm not being so caught up right now in the moment with ryan garcia and tank davis uh you know these posters coming out nice posters by the way that poster in particular i guess the official <laughs> quote unquote poster right um, it looks awesome, man, you know, with uh, Tank Davis and uh, Ryan Garcia staring, you know, in front. I mean, that looks a nice, really cool poster. But uh, and, and then that poster, it says coming soon, 2023. I mean, we really don't know, you know what I'm saying? We don't know because, you know, also to consider part aside from, you know, or, or to add on to what I just recently said concerning Ryan Garcia, you know, on how he has been. I don't I don't doubt his heart, though, man. I can't. I can't. You know, only only, you know, the man upstairs, good Lord up, upstairs can judge the hearts of all men of what their real intentions are. But <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Concerning the actions, we can determine to a certain degree concerning the actions of people, you know, and uh, Ryan Garcia, I, I, I can't judge and I can't say that he doesn't want to fight Tank Davis. Um, he probably really does. He probably really does. But it, it's hard to believe that up to this point. You know what I'm saying? Um, also, aside from that, okay, or to add to that, just to reiterate that, just to add to this, um, you all know, man, Tank Davis has a court date. We don't know what the heck's going to happen. I mean, there is a certain, you know, source out there, you know, on Twitter, you know, posting and I, and I, I, I you know, concerning this whole Tank thing and that and Ryan fight. And I said, you know, I responded, I responded in this manner that, um, you know, cause that, that person, I forgot his name, but you know, there, I mean, like I said, I constantly say this. There are so many platforms out there when it comes to sport of boxing, and there are and a lot more when it comes to like writers and stuff like that. You know what I'm saying? But I responded to that person. I said, you know, concerning Tank's law, you know, his case, uh, hit and run thing that it, that happened a long time ago. Um, so now he's gonna go to court for it. I understand the judge, you know, is not taking a no jail, uh, a no jail deal. You know what I'm saying? And this person, you know, posted up there that he still has this case pending. And that's true, ladies and gentlemen. 
that's something we got to consider also i know the people everyone's getting emotional out there everyone's like already celebrating as if the fight's going to go down already you know what i'm saying but we don't know what's going to happen in this case with tank davis and i responded to that person when he mentioned this whole case thing that i, I assume this is just me you know what i'm saying thinking speculating this here i assume tank davis has you know the best lawyers in town man you know what i'm saying he has the best lawyers in town understand ladies and gentlemen tank got money tank got money you know what i'm saying <laughs> He's been really successful in his career, which is awesome, you know, but even though I don't agree and I don't really, you know, I'm kind of disappointed to a certain degree in Tank's career to a degree at this point with the fighters and the opponents, at least, you know what I'm saying? The opponents that he's been dealt with. Um, and we know the story and I've, I've given my two cents on that now. Now, also, I understand Tank Davis, you know, I read out there that Tank Davis, he's not, you know, for this deal in particular to fight Ryan Garcia. Um, he's not under Mayweather promotions or whatever. Mayweather and LRB are not in the mix according to what I read out there, okay? Um, so if that's the case, wow, you know, but that's the reason why I personally think he hasn't been getting these top fighters. Um, and I can really care less about the whole regular belt thing. I, that, that's not a real belt to me, okay? That's to me as a boxing fan. I mean, other people can debate that, whatever, I don't care, you know what I'm saying? But me personally, man, I'm, those regular belts he got, I mean, that's not a championship belt, you know? In my humble opinion, there's only one champ in the division, it should be like that, the top champ. The super champ, the super champ, the champ champ, you know what I'm saying? Though, for example, Devin Haney, he's the champ champ. You know, all those other regular, regular secondary belts, I can care less about, you know what I'm saying? But, you know, when it comes to that, that's what I'm saying here, you know, uh, tank and, and, and those belts i mean nice accolades you know but uh it's real debatable you know so i'm that's what i'm trying to say here i'm like i, I haven't been so satisfied in tank davis's you know recent opponents man you know but but anyways we don't know man like depending on how this case goes out if he serves jail time and remember these tank davis apparently we don't even know who the freaking opponent is i mean apparently he's gonna fight in january it's not gonna be ryan garcia for that one yeah, that January date supposedly that he's gonna be that's that's another thing that's floating around that's gonna be in Washington or something like that I mean you know who who knows who that opponent's gonna be and I'm you know I don't know and by the time I push this video y'all know boxing okay by the time I push this video I mean his, his, his opponent's probably gonna be announced okay so it's not gonna be that okay uh, he has the court date he has the court date pending we don't know what's gonna happen there if he serves time you know what I'm saying if that's the case he serves time he probably won't be out for that January fight, supposedly in Washington, before the Ryan Garcia fight, if that doesn't happen, he'll probably take a tune-up fight before the Ryan Garcia fight. And if if it goes like that, if he serves time in jail, you see what I'm saying? So this is these are the reasons why, man, I'm not really so excited about this, man, as of yet. Um, I don't believe it till I see these two guys in the freaking ring, man. You know what I'm saying? Because that's the sport of boxing, especially a lot of the times. Um, really competitive fights do come to pass. You know, and you don't get a lot of disappointments sometimes. You try, know what I'm trying to say? But at this caliber, this is the thing here. At the caliber of Ryan Garcia and, and, and freaking, you know what I'm saying, Tank Davis, their star status or whatever you want to call it, you know what I'm saying, the clout they carry in the sport of boxing, whether it be, whether it be social media clout, whether it be, you know what I'm saying, uh, what they have done in their careers. It's, it's funny because it's like a paradox because Ryan Garcia carries a lot of clout because of, you know, um, his social media following and is and of course because of his good looks. He's a handsome guy You know what I'm saying face it or not whether you like it or not That's just the reality when you market someone or market a product the good looks got to come You know, I, I've broken this down a long time ago, you know um, Before I had the subscribers I do now let's just put it that way. I don't have a lot of subscribers really I'm the smallest channel. It's one of the smallest channels out there when it comes to sport boxing <laughs> But I said this a long time ago when it comes to mark example this is one of the reasons why uh, Canelo, man, he, you know, when he started his career, when he started, you know, I mean, the good looks attract a lot, you know what I'm saying, eyeballs, you know, really light skinned guy, uh, you know, redheaded, you know, uh, Mexican, Latin, I mean, those attributes do help pull eyeballs, man, they do, let's just be realistic, you know what I'm saying, that's just how it is when it comes to the marketing industry, the sport, the, 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 the entertainment industry, the, the business world, it's any product out there, man, whatever product out you want to put your name on it. Good looks attract eyeballs for that product. And the same here when it comes to sort of to a certain degree at least. And and why do you think why do you think Ryan Garcia has so many followers, man? It's not necessarily for what he's done in the ring. Let's just make that clear. Let's make that crystal freaking clear. It's not necessarily what Ryan Garcia has done in the ring to attract so many eyeballs. It's his good looks. 
You know what I'm saying? It's his marketing strategy, his marketing talent, because he has that. And big ups to him. I'm not, you know what I'm saying, tripping over it. I think that that's cool, man. You know what I'm saying? The, the, the sponsors, the, you know, the modeling that he does, aside from boxing, it pulls a lot of eyeballs. You know what I'm saying? It really does. So it's, it's a trip. Get back to that. It's like a paradox. Like Ryan Garcia has a lot of follow, followers more, more for that than what he has done in the ring. And Tank, on the other hand, <laughs> y'all know the story there. Tank, on the other hand, he has got his following. You know what I'm saying? And that's the real deal right there. You know what I'm saying? Um, for what he has done in the ring. Not necessarily the opponents, maybe. Maybe a couple, yeah. I'm not knocking a couple of his opponents. I mean, I think he has, you know, had a, a couple nice fights. Definitely. Definitely. Aside from, aside from, uh, you know, uh, the, 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 the type of belts he has. What he has done in the ring, Tank Davis, on the other hand, what he has done in the ring and the following he has is because of what he has done in the freaking ring, like the knockouts, the way he has beat these guys in impressive fashions. I'm taking nothing away, as you know. Notice that, you know, for the new followers also, notice that I'm not picking on or I'm not criticizing Tank's skills. Heck no. On the contrary, ladies and gentlemen, I exalt Tank and, you know, his freaking skills, man. And the power, of course, y'all know the power, okay? But the boxing skills too. I exalt him, man, as an athlete in the sport of boxing, you know, amazing, amazing boxer. You know what I'm saying? Amazing a fighter in that ring. He's no joke. He's no joke. But I'm trying to get my point here is this. Tank, on the other hand, his following and his clout, his clout has been through what he has done in the ring for fighting. Not necessarily Ryan Garcia. You know what I'm saying? Not necessarily. And why am I saying this, man? It's to explain and break down that fights of this caliber of following from both of these guys, from both of these guys, it, it, it's a lot of controversy and it's, it's hard to get these fights in sometimes. Uh, lo and behold, just, just a quick example, I lost, you know what I'm saying, uh, Spence and freaking Crawford. I know Crawford may not have such a big following, but you know what I'm trying to say here. When it comes to that, that kind of caliber following that these guys have, it's kind of hard, it's harder to make these fights sometimes. It's harder to make these fights sometimes, you know what I'm saying? Another quick example, Anthony Joshua and Wilder, many years ago. Both of those guys got a lot of clout, man. And it's hard to make those fights sometimes, you know, because there's a lot of disagreements and a lot of freaking politics and blah, 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 yada, yada, yada. And that's another reason why, man. This is another reason why I don't know. I'm not just, I'm not, I'm, I'm taking it with a grain of salt, this whole thing, man. I'm real, I really am. I really am. And my personal opinion is this, man. I would rather have seen, I would rather like to see Tank Davis versus, you know, like Teofimo, Tank Davis versus Shakur, Tank Davis versus Haney, Tank Davis versus Lomachenko, Tank Davis versus maybe another name out there, I just can't think of him, you know, at the at the moment, Taylor uh, at 140, uh, maybe even Ramirez. If this fight goes down and if, and if these freaking, you know, if these guys prove me wrong, these politics prove me wrong that this fight's really going to go down, cool. That's cool. But I'm just not too excited about it. I'm just trying to say it like that. I'm not trying to be pessimistic or negative about it. You know what I'm saying? Of course, I'm going to watch the fight. If this fight happens and it's really going to go down, man, um, of course I'm going to watch it. Of course I am. And I'm not even going to break it down yet. You know what I'm saying? This or that. <laughs> I did it with the thumbnail, but, you know, I just want to do it like that. <laughs> this or that. You know what I'm saying? What's going to happen? Is Tank Davis going to, you know, knock out Ryan Garcia, which I see very probable with a nice uppercut, as you see in the thumbnail? Or is Ryan Garcia going to knock out, you know, uh, Tank Davis? Uh, who knows, man? Who knows? Or whoever wins, you know... Uh, may the best man win. I'm not going to really break it down as of yet. You know what I'm saying? I'm not going to really break it down as of yet. But I'm just kind of saying in this video, you know, to get my two cents on, I'm not so excited just yet about this fight, man. I don't know even know. I mean, I don't even think it's safe to say it's official. Uh, even though people want to say, yeah, Steven Espinosa said it's a done deal. And they can say what they want, man. People can say what they want, ladies and gentlemen. How many times do freaking sources come out and say that it's almost done and it's about to be done and... You know, November, it's going to be that date and whatever, and it doesn't happen. So, I don't know, man. It's hard to say. It's hard to say. When you consider all these points that we're talking about in this video, Tank's lawsuit the, or the, the case or whatever, right? Um, you know, we, it's just going to be, you know, and Ryan's history also of, of you already know, a fight's announced, and then all of a sudden he pulls out for whatever reason. You see what I'm saying? For whatever reason. So, it's kind of hard to say. But like I said, man, by the time I post this video up, by the by the time I post this video up, I mean it's probably gonna there's gonna be a venue, there's gonna be a date, and who knows, man. 
But I'm just kind of, I'm going to be like, I'm going to take it like this. I'm going to believe it when I see them in the ring, man. You know, even if they have, even if they have like a face-off and a couple press conferences, I'm just going to believe it till I see it in the ring, man. I just see these guys in the ring until I see the freaking ref saying this is low, this is a low blow, you know, below the belt. You know what I'm saying? I want to, I want a good clean fight. <laughs> Obey my commands at all times. You know, in the meantime, man, I'm just going to wait it out. You know what I'm saying? And we'll see what happens. And then, and then by that time, when it gets more tangible, then I'll do breakdowns and stuff like that. But... We'll see what happens. What do you guys think? Do you guys think this fight's gonna really go down? And I got—I didn't even mention this. And there's other things I didn't even mention to, to prove my point, okay? But another thing is I'm hearing also Ryan Garcia is what I'm talk, probably gonna take a freaking warm-up fight too. And who did he fight? I don't even know. I don't even remember. Was it this dude called this name Dongo guy or something? The guy that Bud Crawford fought year, a gazillion of years ago or something? I don't know, man. Whatever. And there's people saying that also. Oh, yo, Ryan Garcia is probably gonna take a tuna fight too also. My gosh. My gosh, they're already announcing this. Who knows, man? But hey, hopefully it does. Like I say, if these guys prove me wrong, you know, when 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 the sport of boxing proves me wrong, that means it's good. <laughs> when it comes to me saying, when I say, you know what, prove me wrong. When it comes to me saying that, that means something's good. You know, good things are happening when it comes to these little things. You know what I'm saying? When it comes to fights like this or, you know, certain aspects that I talk about when I say these things. But anyway, what do you think, man? You think the fight's going to happen? Uh, hopefully it does, man. Renee Boxing on a platform where we simply discuss, critique, analyze, simply talk about supportive boxing and love when I'm mature, coherent fashion. Thank you guys so much, man. Like it up, share it up, all your support. Thank you guys so much, man. Peace out.